I'm wondering who's going to stop Barry Brown for the Kings. Who can guard him in ISO situations? Who can pick him up in transition? Who can stop his movement off the ball? Now, that's going to probably come down to Derek Walton Jr. somewhat, but primarily I think it's going to be the case of Justin Simon, who should have been running for the Defensive Player of the Year. But the only problem is, Hammer, if you focus on Barry Brown Jr. too much, you've got Brantley, who also is going to have to be guarded by Justin Simon. So some of the Kings' defensive liabilities, I think, may be exposed in this series. But, boy, they also present some problems for the breaker. So I'm not sure how you see it, but initially that's my perspective. So who are you tipping, mate? Who are you tipping in game one in the Let's series? not get to that yet. Jesus, can you speak first and let me warm up a little bit? <laughs> Jeez, you sound like my wife. All right. I've got uh, – I'm going to go straight for the point. I actually think that the Breakers can win game one, and I'm going to tell you why, D. They've got five players in double figures, just like the Kings have. Now, the Kings deserve to be favourites for this series. They've been the best team in the league, and they're the reigning champs. So it's theirs to be able to lose, in my opinion. But the Breakers – they're 11-3 and three on the road. They're not scared of going on the road. And what they bring is they bring a whole lot of offense, but their defense and their mobility and toughness is going to trouble the Kings. What I like is Brantley and Pardon being able to do it in the front court because I see what they can do from a defensive perspective with their athleticism against players like Cooks. The other thing that I like is their backcourt defensively with McDowell White, um, and Isaiah Liafa as well. Both really good defensive player against the pick and rolls to be able to defend Walton Jr. as well and also Vasilovic. So I think it's going to be a tough game. I'm actually going to predict that New Zealand win game one and then the Kings fight back and win game two because the Kings play better, I think, on the road than they do at home. So what do you think about that? that that in no way is that happening. That's, I mean, that's ambitious of you, but it, that's not happening at all. Here's another problem the Kings have, I believe, though, Hammer, is Suarez and Jordy Hunter, they've got to play this series. They were not good the last series, and they can't afford to be like they were then in this series. As you said, New Zealand are tough up front. And also, Abercrombie plays bigger than you think. He does some work down in the paint. Also, he's a good rebounder. He's long, and he's still got enough athleticism to worry people. You have to deal with his physical presence. So if Hunter and Suarez don't show up, that's a lot of pressure on that man right there, ex-Cooks. And how's his body going to hold up over a five-game series, Hammer? That is going to be the big question for the Kings. Now, also, DJ Vasilievich. He's got to shoot the ball. He's got to shoot the ball well and provide some proficient outside perimeter attack for the Kings. And I think that will go a long way towards helping them go back to back. I think a bit of an X factor for New Zealand in this series is Rob Lowe coming off the bench. Now, hear me out on this, D, but the Kings traditionally play with such a deep drops. So if you've got guards getting in there and you've got someone like Lowe that sets the pick and pop, they either have to get in rotation, someone's going to get open, but Lowe's capable of being able to knock that down and have some sort of impact uh, against that particular style of defence. So, D, we've got Hammer's tip. What's plus yours? four and a half, I'm going New Zealand in game one. Plus four and a half. D, D what are you thinking? This is tough, Joe. Um, I think New Zealand steal game one. If they don't steal it, they'll put a lot of pressure on Sydney and Sydney will know that they're probably not the better team by the end of game one. New Zealand get game two. So it's either going to be 2-0 New Zealand or one all going back to Sydney for game three. And Hammer, I hate to say it because I've got to spend time in Sydney and I know how icy cold get towards us poor side reporters when we pick against the home <laughs> team. I think New Zealand are better. I think they've got more depth and I'm going to go with them to win this series. So can I just get this straight? Both of you are tipping New Zealand for at least game one and you're both leaning towards them winning the entire grand final series. Yes. Yeah, I, I am too. I mean, I, Sydney should be favourites. I just think this matchup is going to create some yes. problems for Sydney. I don't think Sydney win game three against Cairns if they have Pinder and Scott in that game three. So... I think that New Zealand are going to be really ready to go. It's going to be a flip of the coin. We know Sydney have done well all year, but I think it's going to be an upset. 